Welcome to this Windows channel and this is part two of two. So if you were looking for other parts, there's only two parts. This is part two of the Windows 10 Insider Preview built 14316 um, Insider Preview. So uh, this was released today, April 6th. So check out my first video, which uh, talks about the bash line command of Ubuntu. Also Microsoft Edge, um, new features, updated extensions. And now we are going to check uh, some of the more um, or other features, new features of Windows 10 Insider Preview. Uh, so what else do we have here? First of all, also in, um, we were talking about Cortana a little bit where you could share maps and stuff. Uh, another thing that now happens is for battery. Battery is uh, actually now you were able to see the battery uh, in across devices. So if you have a phone with Cortana, you'll be able to see no battery notifications coming on uh, to any platforms, thanks to new Cortana integration between devices. Uh, there's a new Find My Phone, Ring My Phone feature also. So that's pretty cool. If you uh, use Cortana, you'll now have a new Find My Phone feature uh, available. Of course, you will need to have uh, the Find My Phone stuff uh, installed and working. And it's actually working through geolocation with Cortana. And you can have Cortana ring your phone. And so uh, that's pretty cool um, across devices. Uh, what else do we have? We have a new universal Windows platform, Skype app. So they have updated Skype and so it's called Skype UWP for Universal Windows Platform Preview. Uh, so this is the another beta version of this new Skype app coming. So that's pretty cool also. Uh, working on Skype here to uh, have everything working right. Uh, other things that exist is uh, Action Center improvements also. So um, now if you go to um, the settings and system and in notifications and actions what you have now in notifications is that you'll have uh, not only the notifications but uh, you also will have prioritization of these so basically when you click a notification you have number of notification visible in action center but you also have here top high or normal that means it gives you an importance or three level of importance of the type of notification you want. Is that very, very important or is not super important? So this is uh, one of the new stuff, new things that is, of course, available uh, for sure. There's updated emojis. So if you like to use uh, emojis on Windows 10, lots and lots of new emojis have been added, of course. Uh, in between device so um, that's for sure personalization improvements as you see here I've enabled something called the dark team so uh, where do you go for that all you need to do is go into all settings in the all settings you will uh, of course uh, go to personalization and then you'll go to colors and here you can enable if you go at the bottom choose your mode light or dark so basically this gives you the uh, possibility to use the dark team that I've enabled that's why you see that everything is dark now in my settings menu and everything so that's pretty cool and uh, works really really well um, other things that are now available uh, of course in um, the insider preview uh, is a new PC access experience. If you have a um, device like a, a smartphone, the continuum experience is much, much better. Uh, virtual desktop improvements, you can now pin a window so it is available on every desktop. That's something that was not available before. And uh, basically, uh, this means you can actually pin to desktops some of your favorite apps say you use the mail app everywhere well you can pin it now to that desktop 
Um, of course, a new experience in the install. So this is interesting for that. Um, you now don't have that circle that gives you a percentage, but rather a blue screen that gives you the possibilities of um, you know how it's installing in three steps. Another thing that's interesting is uh, the if you go to all settings and um, you go into um, system and then you go into battery, new way of actually showing you the battery and turn on battery saver automatically with little sliders. So there's kind of you know new features there, new way of doing things. That's pretty cool uh, for sure. So you'll have also updated information about battery usage, which is interesting. So basically, if you uh, want to know which app takes what percentage of batteries, um, you can click battery usage by app. It will have uh, different options to give you for that. So um, <clears throat> another new feature that's interesting and should have been there is in the um, settings. If you go into the uh, update and security, I just clicked the wrong option. Uh, so settings, all settings, you go into update and security and you go into Windows Update. You now have a new feature where you have change active hours. Basically active hours means now if you're working say with your computer every day from 8 in the morning to uh, 8 at night, um, you can actually set that and save it. And what that will do is if updates wants to install, they won't install during active hours. It's telling your computer, look, I'm working with my computer now. It's not time to install these updates. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, feedback up as a um, new ability to comment uh, inside the feedback up. So um, you have seen, of course, um, all sorts of new little things in the build conference. So there will be something called sticky comments. Those comments are now the top items. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening there. Um, messaging everywhere. There's another type of messaging app that's coming um, to uh, features of Windows 10. So there's, um, you know, there was kind of a messaging app or a Skype messaging app. But now there will be, of course, uh, another messaging app. Um, everywhere type app that will be available and can actually uh, have you send out uh, text uh, SMS which is pretty cool so you can actually um, send any uh, SMS to friends through this app. What was fixed? Uh, Asus Zenbook UX31 and PCs with TPM chips had problems before. They're now running well. Uh, if you were using Hyper-V and a virtual switch, things have got back normal. Polish the Wi-Fi flyout UI. By the way, also when you look at the Wi-Fi, now what's new? You know, uh, that was kind of annoying because when you're connected to Wi-Fi, you see always the, uh, you know, other networks. Now you only see the one you're plugged in, and if you want to see others, you have to click Show Available Networks, which is pretty uh, cool also. Uh, fixed issues where desktop Win32 apps pinned to the Start menu would sometimes move after updating the new build. Um, also fix an issue where Update and Restart and Update and Shutdown wouldn't start an update. There are, of course, known issues in this version. Visuals, uh, the Visual Studio emulator for Windows 10 Mobile and HoloLens will fail with an identification error. Um, of course, narrator and screen reader apps have problems. In Microsoft Edge, some large downloads may appear to get stuck at 99% completion. Um, you can work around this issue by renaming the file in your download after closing Edge. Some cases attempting to turn on developer mode may crash the uh, settings app and some apps notifications also um, can not work well depending on the funds you use. Uh, one of the things also that I've noticed is that Cortana is kind of a little broken on mine. I don't know if it's uh, universally broken, but when I click it doesn't respond to me. So I don't know if uh, uh, some of you have the same problem, so I cannot actually use Cortana basically uh, to ask for stuff. But apart from that, it's a nice build, and I think if you were waiting to update 
uh, to a new build. This is the build that you wanted and you were waiting for. Lots of new features and um, very nice build to get on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, let us know. And hopefully you enjoy our videos and our reviews of the latest build. If you are not an insider, please be careful. Uh, as builds are uh, beta software, they can break your computer and mean you have to reinstall. So it's not for everybody. So thank you for watching.